So how to keep your teeth intact and what you can expect once the procedure is done. Dr. Sean Moriarty from More Smiles, uh, More Smiles, I, Smiles, I should say, is here to talk about the process. Good morning to you, Doc. Good morning. Let's talk a little about it. We've been talking about these different dental procedures over the last few months here. And, you know, what exactly, you have an example for us that encompasses a lot of these procedures. Right. So uh, what we have today is we have someone who came in and uh, it's what we would call like a full mouth rehabilitation. So multiple extractions, bone grafting. Um, she's going to have implants placed in the future, but basically uh, full upper, full lower work on her. And basically we're going to show some of those before and after pictures that you had sent to us. What exactly when you get the work done, what is the rehabilitation process like after something along these lines? Well, um, you know, everything is individualized. So for this particular person, what we did was we basically took out all the teeth on the top. They were hopeless. They're very broken down. They're very decayed. That's the picture on the left hand side, um, a lot of infection. So we removed all the uh, upper teeth, grafted them, and those are currently getting ready to be uh, place, implants placed in the top. Um, she actually came in with teeth once we extracted them. Um, the picture on the right hand side, uh, we actually gave her teeth to wear that mm -hmm. same day. So she came in and she left with teeth, which was really uh, made her very happy. Um, the bottom teeth weren't in bad as bad a shape as the, the top. So we did have to remove a few of them and um, we basically removed decay, uh, did a few root canals and uh, put uh, dental crowns on the bottom teeth. And you talked about it. This is an extensive amount of work that we're talking about on, on yeah. one patient in specific. Right. You know, what do you talk to people about so that they don't have to get this type of work done all at once? I mean, right. what can they do to maybe prevent this so that you're doing it in stages and not so much in one uh, visit? Yeah, a couple things. First of all would be, you know, basically uh, going to the dentist on a regular basis, mm -hmm. making sure you're getting your exams and, you know, your screenings, and that way, you know, it can kind of uh, mitigate some of this stuff so it doesn't kind of build up. Right. Um, secondly, if you do have a fear, you know, IV sedation, oral sedation, nitrous oxide, there's a lot of different options that we have these days in order to be able to um, help people through these things so they don't have to let it all build up and get to the point where they're in pain and it's hurting, and that's kind of the driving force. And I know you've seen a lot of patients, and what is kind of the reaction or the benefit that they get after getting some of this work done that they can actually have a, a brighter smile, a, a better smile, so to speak? Well, for this particular situation, this patient, um, you know, I really saw a big difference between the way her attitude was and the way she carried herself. Um, she makes more direct eye contact. She was happy. She kind of holds her head up higher and her shoulders back, and uh, you could just kind of tell it's actually you know, just by restoring your teeth has almost changed your personality, right. you know, for the better. And it's, it's, uh, it's, it's crazy, but it's, you know, a very, very beneficial thing that, you know, that you kind of don't take in a, you know, in the perspective. Yeah, Absolutely. before. So, but yeah, it, it really can make a big difference in someone's confidence, you know, how they feel about themselves. Definitely a dramatic change. We can definitely see it there in the pictures. Well, yeah. Dr. Moriarty, thank you so much for joining us here this morning. Thank and you. we'll be back here on Fox 43.